Hello everyone, my name is Aruhi and welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I'll show you how to create an object detection web application using YOLO V9 and Flask framework. YOLO V9 is state-of-the-art object detection algorithm and Flask is a powerful web framework for Python. So before we dive into the coding part, let's make sure that our environment is ready, our environment is set up correctly. So I'll walk you through the versions of the tools and libraries which I'm using and so that you can run the code smoothly. So open command prompt. I have entered in eDrive because my separate environment which I have created to run this code is an eDrive and then I'm entering in the folder where I have this environment. So guys, for my today's tutorial, I'm using this YOLO V9 algorithm from Ultralytics package, okay? So using, you can use YOLO V9 algorithm in two ways. One is to clone their official GitHub repo, the YOLO V9 GitHub repo, and then you can install all the requirements. And the other way is uh, just install the latest version of Ultralytics and you can have the, you can use the YOLO V9 algorithm uh, through that, okay? So now let me activate the environment. So this is my environment and now the environment is ready. Let's check the version of all the modules. First, I'm showing you the Python version which I have used. So this is my Python version. Now let me show you the Ultralytics version. So this is the Ultralytics version I have used for this tutorial. And then let me show you the Flask version. So this is the Flask version, all right? So you can install Ultralytics by writing pip install Ultralytics and you can install Flask by just writing pip install Flask, okay? So by running these two commands, your environment is ready. Now you can run the code. But before showing you the code, let me show you the application first, like what kind of applications we are going to build in our today's tutorial, okay? So now to open that application, we need to enter in the folder where we have that Flask app code. So let me show you the code, see? And in this folder only, I have another folder with this name, YOLO V9 Flask App Ultralytics. Here, these are the different folders. And this is my web app.py file. Using this file, we are going to run our web application. Okay. And this is my YOLO V9 pre-trained model weight. So guys, for my today's tutorial, I haven't trained the YOLO V9 model myself. What we are doing is we are just using the YOLO V9 pre-trained model, which is trained on Coco dataset. And we will try to detect the ET classes which are there in that Coco dataset. Okay. So you need to put that weight file over here and this web app.py file i'll show you this file in some time what all things we have over here but let's run the application first so how we run it you need to enter in this folder cd which folder this one yolo v9 okay flask this is the folder now from this folder we'll write python web app.py so here you can see the IP address. You can just copy this IP address from here, this URL and just paste it in your browser and hit enter. So this is your web application. Here you can see the different options. Okay. Yeah. Choose file. So if you want to perform detection on image or video, then you will choose the file and then click on upload and you will see the output on this side. But if you want to test on web camera or RTSP stream, then you'll click on these buttons. And let's say if you click on this start webcam, web camera will open and it will start detecting the objects. Okay, we'll, I'll show you all these things one by one. So let's start by um, uh, selecting an image, then I'll show you how to do it with video. So choose file and I am working, I want to work on this image and click on upload. When you'll click on upload on this side, the work is going on and you will see the output here like this on your browser only. Okay. So this is how you work with image. Now let's say if you want to work with video, then for that, just click on the video on this video. I want to perform testing and click on upload and here, see it is performing testing on the video. So 
this is how this is how you can test on image and video now let's say if you want to perform testing on web camera then how to do that just click on this start webcam and this kind of output you'll see this this window will open like this and here it is detecting objects from the web camera In the same way if you want to test on RTSP stream just click on this RTSP stream and it will uh, perform detection on that. So this kind of application we are going to build today. Now let's understand the code. So our main file is this webapp.py. Let's open this file. So first, first we have imported all the required modules and after that in this line over here we are just initializing the flask application and then we have a hello world function this function so this function is responsible to show the home page okay home page means the index page of the application this page this home page all right after that we have predict image function so what this predict image function does so this function is used to handle the image or video prediction based on the request method so remember we upload whenever we want to perform testing on image or video we upload that file from here and then we have a upload button we click on upload button and then it work okay so for webcam and rtsp stream we are using a different approach but for video and image same function will work and that function is this predict image function first we have this request dot method equals to post what it does is this checks if the request method is post and if a file named file is uh, present in the request files okay so this is what happening over here in these two lines after that it retrieves the uploaded file and save it to a specified directory which directory see guys see here these two lines this one and this one so what we are doing is whatever file user is uploading so guys whatever user is selecting over here whether it is an image or a video we want to store that file in a specific folder and the folder name is uploads okay so you will see let me show you that we have an uploads folder and in this upload folder this is the image we performed testing on and then we used this video so all those things you will get in a uploads folder okay so we got the file we stored that file in uploads folder after that i have created a global variable with the name of image path and i have stored the name of that file in this and then here so this here i'm checking the extension of the file which file the file which we have in this uploads folder we are checking the extension of that file if the extension is jpg means if the file which we stored in the upload folder is image then the extension will be jpg then we are reading that image then we are applying the yolo v9 model on it for performing the detection task and then we are displaying that image with detections on it using this display method now let me show you where this display method is so we have this separate display method and you can see it over here so this is the display method this method is responsible to show the image with the detection on your web application like this so when we selected the image we click on upload we were able to see the image with the detection on the screen so this part is happening with the help of this display functions when we choose the image or video and then we click on this upload button the results are getting stored in this runs folder okay runs detect and you can see over here so results are getting stored in this folder so in display method what we are doing is we are giving the path of that detect folder and we are saying that get the path of the latest subfolder and show that on the screen then now let's go back to our predict image function only now you know that if extension is jpg what we want to do now 
if the extension of the uploaded file is mp4 if it is a video then we will read all the frames of that video we are storing the height and width of it and then we want to store the output video with the name of output.mp4 okay so if you'll see here here we have a output.mp4 so what this output is let me show you the output so this is the output video we get when we choose the file uh, when we choose the video and we click on upload button the output is getting stored over here like this okay so that's what i've written here that we want to store the output video with this name then we are calling the yolo v9 model and we are reading all the frames one by one and we are performing detection on all the frames one by one and then we want to store the output so that's what we are writing output dot write we want to write a output video and then we are calling this function video underscore feed this video feed function is responsible to show you the output video on your browser over here so output video what we do we choose file we run it we click on upload then we are able to see the video uh, you can see the output video over here so how we are getting it because of this function this video feed function okay so now let me show you this video feed function so here is the video feed function so this is the function we are calling and this video feed function is responsible to show you the video on the screen in the same way if you want to work on webcam just click on the start webcam after that this kind of output you will get and let me show you the function which is responsible to show you the output of uh, web camera so for that i have a web camera function webcam feed function what we are doing is this source video capture zero means we want to work on the default web camera of our device which is zero in this case and then we have this generate function this function is basically reading all the frames of that web camera and then we are calling the model we are making predictions and then we are showing it so guys this is how you can work on uh, web camera so this is how you can make your own um, object detection web application i have given the link of this code in description section but that code will be a basic code with the help of which you can create with you can design your own web application so if you want the exact same code which i have just explained you that code is available for my channel members contribution level 2 channel members but don't worry if you don't want to be a member still you can access the code but that code will be a little different from this one but with the help of that you can uh, work with images and videos okay so i hope this video is helpful and guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching